time to remake the Game Master. So just like last time, we're going to need to use 8.7 centimetres or 87 millimetres of uh, coax to act as the capacitor. Well, learning from the uh, problems of last time, we're going to make the first incision around the 10 centimetre point. Gives us room to play with. Okay. So around the 10 centimetre point doesn't have to be that accurate at the moment. Because what we need to do is cut our coax sheaf or sleeve so that we can get to the cutting below. Thank you, son, for making so much noise. Okay, need a centimetre gap or thereabouts. Okay, centimetre gap. What we need to do now is cut the coax from the centre of this and cut it off. Excellent. What's that in inches? Three and three eighths. There you go. What we have, what we have here, is coax outer shield is cut at this point, about a five to six millimeter gap, 
and then the continuation of the kites with the outer shield for 86 millimeters or 8.6 centimeters and then the outer shield is then um, taken away from the center core the center dielectric that's isolated I've just put a bit of heat shrink on the top and this is the outer core here um, the outer shield so what I'm going to do now is connect um, the driven element to this bit um, I should bend it up first and then once it's uh, uh, soldered on connected I'll uh, wrap it with some uh, insulation tape or perhaps use another piece of um, heat shrink probably the glue lined again and that will be our capacitor and driven element connected to our coax okay so I've got 3.45 meters of uh, 1.5 mil cable I think this is 1.5 yeah 1.5 mil cable or wire copper multi-strand and I'm going to just take the end off this is slightly over 1.45 meters I'll cut it to length once it's on there but uh, for now slightly over Check that on both sides, lovely. Snip the excess off. Straighten the joint out. that go off so 126.5 centimeters down the coax from the bottom of the capacitor we have to cut so that we can add our matching stub which is made from the west flex 103 one meter there yep there we go one meter 26.5 magic This gigantic stuff is Westflex. No, I quite like this. This is really stiff.
So after you've soldered and wrapped the matching uh, stub connection with uh, tape, you measure 72 centimeters down the matching stub and cut it and short it. So the ends are dead short. And then on the thinner coax, the RG58, uh, uh, you measure down 218.5 centimeters and mark it with a bit of tape because that's the start of the coil and we'll roll the coil now. Now the coil has to be uh, 66 millimeters in diameter, internal diameter. And I found um, this um, rust prevention product bottle is exactly 66 millimeters in diameter. So I shall f use this as my coil former. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one more, sixteen turns. So that's our start and finish points. Get my bit of... Okay, so what we have is our coax capacitor, exactly the same as the first one. It's uh, 86 millimeters in length, creating an 86 puff capacitor, coax capacitor. The driven element, this one, is connected to the shield, the outside shield of the coax. The coax is then separated here, uh, just the shield is cut back and a gap is formed. The centre core is continuous. Um, and then from this point back, the coax is all the way back to the top of the matching stub. Now the matching stub is made from Westflex 103, which is this big heavy duty coax, 10, 10 millimetres in diameter. Um, it is connected at 1.26 uh, meters or 126 centimeters below the capacitor. This then continues for an additional uh, 2 meters 26 to the top of the coil. The coil is 16 turns around a 66 millimeter diameter bottle. Um, and just for those of you that uh, would like to know, the coil is a quarter wave. And then terminate at the very end with a SO239.
So, let's come back in single shot again. Okay. Going straight to the, uh, the MFJ analyzer. Okay, so we'll just take it as far down as we can. 2.7 at 24. So it starts being usable from 23, 3, 8. Notice the SWI 1.2, 1.11. One twenty seven point four six four one six twenty seven four one six four one five one twenty seven seven eight six still one twenty seven eight hundred goes to one point one. So where does it stop? Let's uh, just change the uh, the bands so that I can go up, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. Well, okay. To a twenty nine five hundred. Twenty nine three. So there you go. 29352 is the top end, and then we start being usable from there. That's just phenomenal. Wow, that's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I suppose we better connect it up then and see what it's like actually on the air.